All right, here we have EXEL. Happens to be the best bet of this week. Now, this was uh, on our watch list a few weeks ago, right off this lower trend line. Love the pullback. We got the move. It was a divergence. We got a nice move up here. Our target, original target was 25. Um, and then you can see we ran, ran into some issues with the market. The market kind of pulled back. During these three big candles, actually four big candles, the whole drug sector was selling off pretty hard. Uh, so put a lot of pressure on that. But it did want to get back above that trend line at one point. There was too much pressure. Sold off, nice reversal candle yesterday. And look at the bounce today. You get, you almost regained everything on this. And this trend line, what, one of our rules are, you know, typically these trend lines will work out really good. One, two, three, four. If they do break down, the odds are there is something that is on the outside that is, that is affecting the markets. Some type of... Uh, catalyst that is uh, you know increasing the selling in the market at a point where typically things would be adjusted and normal and uh, up, you know and, and rotations would happen and sometimes you push to the brink where rotation would happen but there's just too much pressure in the market maybe the trend you know uh the market is down and as a distribution day and some funds are selling and it just gets caught up and you just sink you sink down you know, there's nothing you can do about it um and it's usually on lighter volume and it's just not a, usually a big thing because what you want to see is the market recapture all that really fast. And when that does, that's really a, one of the biggest signs of great strength is when you sell off and then come back really fast and just recapture that negative bar. And a couple of times it's done it here. Big bar, this one, and then we followed through. This is kind of a big bar and then we followed through. So, you know, you see what happened here? You see what happened here? This big downward, downward bar. We pushed back, and then we had some nice follow follow through. Even even though it kind of chopped around, but overall it was to the upside. That's exactly what I think is happening here. Um, almost identical of the pattern too. Look, big red candle, kind of a doji, kind of a, a spinning top, whatever you want to call those things. This is actually a little bit more of a, a hammer. Uh, in either case, it's a very bullish um, bullish candles in the way that. The tail here, the shadow of the candle is twice as big as the body. And that is my uh, criteria for reversal candle. When you have a candle tail that is twice as, you know, twice as long as the body is. The body is real small in this case. The body is a little bit longer in this one, but you would see very close to being twice as long too. And that's important. We kind of flush out the recent lows, close on close in a, a better bullish candle. And then the next day we had to follow through. Next day we had to follow through. It was closed on the highs. And the next day after that we had to follow through. So we're going to regain this trend line, eventually get through this trend line, and then make our way up to 25, 26 pretty fast. I think that starts next week. So this is a great, great setup. Um, easy enough to put a trend. I mean, um, if you're not in it yet and you want to confirm that, that's what this is about. But I would, I would be in it here anywhere in this candle. But we'll make it a official that we have to break the 22 2283 level 2283 level will bring us back up above that way above the 220 so many factors here are back above the 200 to really get this thing going fast so i'm going to put that real tight uh tight uh, trigger in front of us i'm gonna sorry i gotta they don't have a pause on this so i have to actually work fast or i'll just tell you what it is and do it after because I published these anyway. I put this on the HPS watch list, which is the um, day trading radios members um, watch list, which each one of these, like I have a target here, like a buy trigger. Each one of these is into the computer, into our database and it, it checks the price real time. And when it hits the buy trigger, it sends out an alert to all the members. So we know we don't w what these are all uh, trading at. So if that's something that interests you, Head over to Day Trainer Radio. You could even try it out for 10 days. Um, we have a free trial there. Just kind of mentioning that. 2283. So we'll call 22. We'll make it an odd ball number, 83. And that'll be our buy trigger that'll go into the, the system. And then we'll okay that. Oh. oh, that's that one. Let me see. Buy trigger. Here it is. We'll keep that like that. We'll close it up a little and make it. This is all the things that happen behind the scenes, actually, that you don't have to deal with. Now, with the, um, <clears throat> with the, this is an old target. We're going to keep this old target. We're going to keep the exact target here. We're going to move it over. Even though I believe it's going to go to 26, definitely see this target playing out now very easily. 
this is going to extend up, and I think we could ride this rest of this uh, trend line up here also. Okay, I can, how do you, that's a, well, I'm not exactly sure how you send it on its way. Extend right. There we go. Okay. So here, that's a better view there. <clears throat> All right. Um, so the target's going to be up here, 25 to 26. We'll keep that target the same. We'll just move it over here. All right, very nice chart. And let's not forget, stochastics oversold. You got everything going for you. Reversal candle, regained it, reversal bars, back above the 200. We'll be back into the trend line. We'll hold that trend line and move up real fast into our, our buy zone. Best bet. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go to the next one. Next one on the list is going to be AUPH. AUPH.